hello friends so in today's video we will be seeing what is sd wan and how it works so friends basically sd wan is an acronym uh, for software defined wan and it is defined as a program which simplifies branch networks and optimizes the performance of applications on the internet and hybrid wan as we know wan is a wireless access network and when we say it as a software defined that means in a traditional wan we have introduced a software mechanism which will be used in the functionality of wan so sd wan basically originates from a software defined networks uh, which unlinks the network based software services from the underlying hardware so sd wan is an automated programmatic approach for managing the enterprise network connectivity and circuit cost so basically whenever we uh, consider a larger organizations so they will have their own network and they will have a huge investment done for the entire network setup and in such a uh, huge network having software defined approach is a very helpful mechanism so what sd wan does is it extends the software defined networking into an application that businesses can use to quickly create a smart hybrid wan so basically sd wan will be consisting a business grade ip vpn broadband internet it will have the wireless services and it will enable cost efficiently management of applications particularly in the cloud now what happens in sd wan is traffic will be automatically and dynamically forwarded across the most appropriate and efficient wan path based on the network conditions application traffic security and quality of service it will also consider the circuit cost so what will happen in sd wan is suppose there are multiple path which traffic can take so based on the network conditions the path will be automatically chosen and the path will be the most efficient path which will be decided by the software mechanism so suppose if there is a congestion in any certain uh, network route then automatically the traffic will be switched to other path which is more suitable and everything can be done using a routing policies so and the routing policies can be set up by administrator so whenever we set up a sd wan we can kind of a set of routing policies which can take care of such scenarios so now as we can see in the diagram so the basic sd wan operation if we consider we can see there is a branch site uh, which is there now uh, here we have a branch site then we are having certain transfer mediums like we have a wireless uh, wide area network then we have a internet which is a open network and then we have private mpls right so basically we are having multiple path uh, through which traffic can be sent and then there will be sd wan device which can be uh, used for dynamic multi path optimizations and we can see internet is going to the cloud services so anyone if you want to access a cloud services that can be accessed and then we have enterprise data center so enterprise data center basically will be a kind of a data center where all the data related to enterprise can be hosted so what happens is whenever sd wan comes into the picture it can choose multiple paths based on the network conditions so suppose if somebody wants to do a voice traffic transfer from branch site to enterprise data center or any other site then based on the network conditions a appropriate path can be taken which will be providing better cost better performance uh, in in a similar way or the decisions can be taken so what are the benefits of the sd wan so sd wan basically lowers wan opex and capex opex means operational cost operational expenditure uh, capex means uh, capacity expenditure and it will also reduce the overall total cost of ownership it also provides greater business agility and responsive responsiveness to keep pace with it innovations so as it is a software based uh, approach it provides us a greater flexibility to work with it innovations it also supports multiple 
secure high performance connections and it can eliminate backhaul penalties imposed by MPLS networks. So whatever what generally happens is suppose uh, there is uh, some SLA which needs to be uh, I mean which ne which needs to be uh, fulfilled by a telecom service provider. So what can happen is suppose if there is some outage in the network then there could be huge penalties which can be imposed by customer. So in case of SD man what happens is if there is a problem with one of the network path then automatically other network path will be selected and it won't be affecting the customer experience. So SD man also improves performance uh, by enabling load sharing across multiple connections and it can also adjust the traffic flows based on the network conditions. So suppose a certain network element condition is not as per the service agreement then automatically second network path can be chosen. Now sd also supports automated provision of and changes to premium network services such as VPNs that is virtual private networks then there could be firewalls, security, van optimization and application delivery control. So as it is a software layer uh, it is a more flexible than the hardware devices so it can allow us automatically provisioning a VPNs as per the need it can put additional firewalls uh, virtual firewalls basically whenever it sees that there is certain risk of the network attack or anything of that sort based on the predefined logics then it can create a firewall that can put more security uh, kind of a restrictions on particular data transfer it also supports a zero touch provisioning so what zero touch provisioning means we can predefine the logic to handle certain network scenarios right so suppose at a certain duration uh, of the day uh, if we need higher bandwidth for the data transfer and for that suppose the more processing power is needed then in software defined wireless uh, uh, i mean software defined mechanism we can put the logic that if the certain threshold is breached create additional uh, uh, software components or we can allocate additional RAM so there is no manual intervention needed so it is called as a zero touch provisioning it also provides the imp uh, improvement in the network security uh, by encrypting the WAN traffic and segmenting the network to minimize damage if breaches occur so suppose if any attacker attacks the network then SD-WAN can basically take the security related precautions and it can minimize the damage in case of a breach. Now what are the uses of SD-WAN? So SD-WAN is a very useful uh, because it is a software running on the customer premise equipment. It can monitor the conditions of public and private line services and determine how to route each type of traffic or application traffic. So basically CP is a customer premises equipment and it is located generally at the customer's location. So we, the software which runs on that uh, such a device it can monitor the network condition and it can decide the logic. So for example if customer has a default setting uh, to send the voice over IP traffic over the MPLS VPN service. So basically whatever VoIP call happens that might be by default routed to the MPLS VPN service. However, suppose due to some of the re reason if MPLS connection becomes congested then SD-WAN software might switch that traffic of voice over IP to the broadband internet connection or 4G LTE wireless circuit. Right? Suppose sometimes when you are working from home and the home Wi-Fi doesn't work correctly and if we face into the issue generally what we do we will be connecting to the alternate network suppose we might have mobile hotspot or something of that sort right so in that case we need to do it manually however on a larger perspective SD-WAN can automatically do such kind of things whenever it detects any kind of a issue with the network So in such a way SD-WAN can enable automatic load balancing and it can also enable network congestion management and that will allow us the best performance and least cost effective routing.
so if we consider history of uh, an evolution of sd wan so modern sd wan or software defined networking technology has been evolved from earlier networking solution like point to point or least uh, least solutions frame relay and mpls so point to point transfer was the original mode for connecting multiple local layer networks that was before frame relay removed the need to buy and manage individual connecting links so basically in older days if you want to connect two offices we needed a direct link between those offices now after certain decades we had a mpls technology coming in so mpls made improvements by bringing bringing previously separate functions such as voice video data networking into the single uh, protocol which was a ip protocol so basically a voice video data everything could have could been could be transmitted over a ip protocol that was done by mpls so mpls in uh, early 2000s multi protocol label switching that is mpls came to popularity now mpls soon overtook frame relay which is a older technology in popularity because mpls was leveraging ip protocol technology and it was bringing all the previous functions which was earlier separate such as voice video data everything was brought into same network by mpls over the ip layer now mpls is today also the most common technology uh, which is used in the enterprise wise so there are multiple uh, large organizations uh, which are basically using the mpls technology and it is still used for reduced latency etc so in early 2010s especially around 2013 sd wan was uh, born and as more technologies examined sd wan for its benefit it was realized that many of the same advantages sd wan has over mpls it was similar to what mpls brought than frame relay right so in a simple term sd network software defined networks deliver mpls level quality of service while being significantly less expensive and less difficult to scale so it's easy to scale software defined networks and that is uh, understandable also right? because software based components are easier to distribute easier to build it's easier to change their configurations right rather than physical hardware so sd wan can handle variety of connections and dynamically move traffic over the best transport available and it can provide both redundancy and more capacity using lower cost link because it is a software version of the physical uh, links so also the sd wan solutions are significantly cheaper than mpls overall when time of installation and time of delivery are considered the best sd wan solutions offer zero touch provisioning allowing sites to be brought on quickly and not requiring networking or security expert to be on site for installation it's again uh, courtesy of the software uh, which is which is used in the sd1 technology that it allows zero touch provisioning etc now here we can see the service components so basically we can see there are oss apps there is a sd1 controller which controls the sd1 edge devices and we have the internet mpls vpn which are connecting two sites right so it could be customer service provider or it could be msp uh, network then we have the web services or we have the multiple sites right so we can see there are two types of uh, tunnels which are created so whatever yellow lines are there those are sd1 overlay tunnel so basically a wan again is a wireless access network or wide area network it allows the secure traffic so basically using encryption technologies sd1 agents can create a overlay tunnels which actually use the physical connectivity available uh, over the internet and they send it as a vpn or a secure traffic protocol and it can take the decisions based on the network conditions so how does sd wan works basically yeah so this part we will see into the next video because it will need some more detailed information so stay tuned to my next videos and if you like this uh, there are further slides which i will be covering in next video thank you